yo what is up with it welcome back to my channel um this is gonna be a little bit of a different kind of video again um sorry i'm playing with my new tripod setup so if you see me moving around i'm probably just trying to fix it or angle it I don't like the way this angle but it's okay i'll have to do for now so um as i said this video is gonna be a little bit different i've never on a video like this so i apologize if i'm kind of short on things to say um so um sorry this is also a very sensitive video so anyone who kind of struggle with this which i'm gonna get into in a minute um you guys will kind of see why i'm kind of being kind of quiet this video and like not really in your face or as excited as i normally am in some of my other videos um this video is sort of going to talk about my sexuality and me kind of coming out even though i came out years ago as bi you know i never truly understood what that meant and i spent a lot of time sort of fighting it and sort of almost wanting to believe i was something that i wasn't and what i mean by that was for years since i came out around eighth grade i knew i wasn't straight and at the time it wasn't widely accepted like it is now so I kind of was told by people, it's like, you can only like one or the other, you can't like both. And that for me kind of struck a chord with me. And, you know, I, I knew, I, I knew that I liked girls, but I also liked boys. And I was kind of confused because I would hang out with my girlfriends and I would look at them and go, oh, she's pretty, I date her. And then I go, wait, you can't say that, you're straight. And I sort of, for years, I kind of did that to myself. And I was like, you know, telling myself I was straight, even though I knew I wasn't. And I finally, around 11th grade, 12th grade, kind of started accepting it more. And I was like, all right, you like both. And that's okay. Which it is, you know, respect to everyone in the LGBTQ plus community. Sorry if I missed anything in there. I think I'm right. But you guys know what I mean. Like, for me, it's been a really, really big deal. And I don't want to offend anybody or make anyone think certain way or whatever. This is my video, my personal coming out. You know, if you guys are whoever you are, if you're straight, if you're bi, if you're gay, if you're pan, whatever you are, you are loved for who you are. And you should be very proud of yourself. It's a big thing to kind of accept your sexuality and be who you are. You know, a lot of people struggle with that. You know, I, as I said, I kind of struggled for a couple of years kind of figuring myself out and sort of, sort of trying to find who I was. And, you know, all my exes have been pretty accepting of that, which is nice, you know. But I, you know, my problem was for years, I kind of got asked being bi, does that mean when you're in a relationship with someone, whether it be male or female, does that give you the right to cheat? Absolutely not. My sexuality is that I can either date a boy or a girl. Does not mean I'm gonna cheat. That has nothing to do with what your sexuality is. If you cheat, no offense, you're a scum. End of conversation. Just because I'm bi doesn't mean I'm gonna cheat. It has nothing to do with that. I don't know where people got that idea from, but just know, please don't say that to somebody. It's A, it's uncool, and B, it's just not a nice thing to say to somebody. It's, it can be very offensive and taken in the wrong manner. So, um, with that being said, you know, I'm bi and I'm proud of myself. You know, as I said, for years I struggled with finding who I was and kind of truly accepting that it was okay for me to be different. It wasn't about being straight it was about me finding me and who i am as a human and you know as of recently that's become more of a thing for me where i've kind of struggled with that when trying to date i kind of was like i like girls and i may have crushed on certain girls or whatever it may be and then I did a guy and it's like, I'm still feeling a certain way. And you know, that's my own fault. I need to stop doing that. But you know, it's, you know, I've learned to accept that it's okay if I date a boy or a girl, it doesn't really matter as long as I'm truly happy. And that's what, 
is probably the most important thing for me. Most important thing for me, whether uh, whether I date male, female, or what, whoever I choose to fall in love with, that I am loved the same. Doesn't and it shouldn't matter my sexuality, my gender, my whatever, my skin color, whatever it is, it should not matter. Love should be who, for who you are as a person, not what you are in sexuality. So I think my big message here is just, you know, be kind to yourself, love yourself, and be who you are. You know, it doesn't matter what everyone else thinks. You know, they want you to be this, they want you to be that. Well, guess what? You're not that. You're you, and you're amazing being you. And, you know, you don't have to give that up for anybody else because you deserve to be happy. You know, I should probably eat my own advice, but... Yeah, it feels good to kind of come out again. Like, I know I came out years ago, but it wasn't really a big thing for me because I was still fighting with my sexuality. And, you know, I always ask myself, you know, you never dated a girl. How do you know you like girls? It's just a feeling, you know? You don't have to date someone to know you like them. You just, it's a feeling. It's not always something you can describe in words or say out loud. It's just something you feel within yourself. And that's perfectly okay. Don't let anybody tell you, oh, you have to tell the person you like them. You have to tell them you have a No, you don't. If you like somebody and you know you like them, yeah, you'll tell them eventually. But the first step in that is accepting it within yourself and knowing that's okay. And, you know, for me, I struggled with that for a long time. You know, I don't, you know, after kind of my trauma with my ex, Ryan, sorry, not one of my other exes who I recently did, you know, I realized that, you know, it's okay for me to love. It's okay for me to be happy, you know. For years, I kind of struggled with that, and no matter, as I said, who I date or when that time comes for me to take that next step in a relationship, you know, as long as I'm loved and I'm treated with respect in the way I should be treated, it doesn't matter who you fall in love with, as long as you're happy and you're you're happy being yourself. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video so I don't ramble on anymore. And I just, you know, before I end this video, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support on this channel. It means so much to me. You know, this channel has become such a big outlet for me to kind of speak and be who I am and advocate for something that means a lot to me. So, please continue to show your love, support, share my video, show your friends, show your family. You know, this is the family-friendly channel. Yeah, I may curse a little bit, but, you know, I try to keep my content as PG or PG-13 as possible, you know. I try to keep it family-friendly because... You know, I want everyone to be able to watch my videos and take something away from it. You know, as my friend Tyler said, you know, I'll credit him for this completely. Edutainment. We're going to entertain you, but you're going to learn something and you're going to have fun doing it. So with that being said, guys, peace out and I love you all and I'll catch you in the next one.